Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm finally getting around to doing the fall clothing haul that I have been talking about. I love shopping, like love it so much. So I'm not sure why I haven't thought of this before, but doing a clothing haul is like right up my alley. Now this year was a little bit different. I normally go shopping in store. I like to get everything at once. I go to the mall or the outlet, stuff like that, and I just grab a bunch of stuff and come home and I'm good to go. This year I did 99.9% .9 of my shopping online. I grabbed a couple things here and there in store when I was out and about, but most of it came from online. So you know when you order from like Old Navy, let's say, and they ship like three items here, one item there, another two items. So it takes a while to get like everything in. So I had to wait until I got everything in. Um, I think I ordered from three different places. So I had to wait until I got everything in and then things have been super crazy lately. So I'm finally getting around to doing it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it per, like show you guys each kid one at a time. So first I'm gonna do all of Jackson's and I'll do it in order, then all of Cohen's and then all of Aniston's. Um, I still want to get more shirts for both the boys and they're both going to need pants, but here in Arizona you don't really need those until winter. So I have not got the mini jeans yet. Um, and then the boys will need new shoes, but probably not till after fall break. We start fall break Friday and then they don't go back until October 14th. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in and I'm gonna show you I have it organized by brand. So I have like all the Old Navy stuff I got each kid together all of the gap stuff, like that kind of stuff. So why don't we get to it? Okay, I decided to do the haul upstairs because yes, the kids are at school and I was able to take a break from helping my mom out to come do the video, but Chris is working from home today. So I wanted to do this downstairs at the kitchen table and be able to lay everything out for you guys, but he keeps getting work calls and I didn't want that to be like in the background of the video. So I'm gonna do it up in Aniston's room. Her room has the best lighting and so why not? So why don't we jump right in? So first I found this Adidas shirt for Jackson. I actually got this at Kohl's. I don't know about a Kohl's near you guys, but our Kohl's takes Amazon returns. So I actually went in to return something on Amazon and I always check the clearance rack. I am a clearance shopper. I like to buy name brand things because I feel like most of the time name brand holds up better, but I don't like to pay name brand prices. So I am a clearance shopper. I got this on clearance. I don't remember the price. It was, I want to say around $5 but it's like that dry fit, you know, material. So, and he loves athletic type clothes. So I got him this shirt at Kohl's and that is the only Kohl's item that I have in this haul. Then I went to Target. So if you guys have not tried Cat and Jack clothes, I highly recommend them. They hold up really well. I feel like they wash up well. Um, I've been using Cat and Jack for the kids for years and I'm a huge fan of them. So I went to Cat and Jack a couple weeks ago. They had on their Target Circle app, like 20% off Cat and Jack clothing. So I got Jackson this shirt. It's actually too big, but it was the last one in the size, and so I figured why not. Um, but it says like, you know, strike zone, power hitter, all that stuff. He's a big baseball fan. It's regular t-shirt material, but I figured it's nice to go with like khakis or gray shorts or whatever. So I grabbed him this. I'm hoping it might not fit for a year or two, but I don't care. I'll hoard it until then. I also got him this Cat and Jack shirt. This material is extremely soft. It's a different material than the red shirt, but it's super soft. And I just like the color block style t-shirts for the boys. He got this one and this is also Target Cat and Jack. It's the same soft material as the other one I just had. And I like the heathered gray look a lot. It doesn't say anything, but it has like, I don't know if you guys can see, just like mountains and like a campfire and a tent. So I like the little patch. It's a raised like, patch so I thought that was cute and then I went to Old Navy online I ordered online at Old Navy I love Old Navy Old Navy Old Navy Target and Gap are probably my three favorite places to get the kids clothes Gymboree used to be really high on my list but they closed and then reopened and I feel like their stuff isn't as cute anymore um, and then I also love places like Nordstrom Rack and things like that because my boys like a lot of Hurley Vans Quicksilver um, Under Armour, Nike, Adidas, they like all that kind of stuff. And so I like to go to Tilly's, to Nordstrom Rack, TJ Maxx. Where else do I shop at in the mall? There's the, there's a store in the mall that sells like all, you know, like the skateboard brand type thing, like bands and stuff. So I do want to go to an actual store and do that soon and get Jackson more, you know, stuff like that. So I went to Old Navy and I got him, it says out of here, just a baseball t-shirt. Um, Old Navy Online was very picked over, so I had a hard time finding stuff for him. I also got him this one. It's like all about the moon, so I thought that was kind of cool. It's He's like at this hard age. You don't want to buy him anything that's looked at as like babyish, but he's kind of like at an in-between stage. He's not really a teenager yet, so it's either like all sports stuff or like all vans and like athletic stuff. So there's kind of like 
not much to choose from I feel like for boys boys are pretty hard it's gotten better since he's been born but it's still pretty tough um, and then I got him this one from Old Navy it says bring it home just a regular t-shirt but all of the Old Navy stuff I feel like Old Navy always holds up really well really soft really comfy also from Old Navy for Jackson I got or sorry these were Cat and Jack and I forgot to show you guys these are Cat and Jack so also from Cat and Jack I got him these shorts they are a quick dry material Cohen still has a pair with the tag still on so I will show you guys but these shorts you guys if you have boys are by far the best shorts I have ever bought my boys they have an adjustable waistband so the reviews online on these shorts said to size up because it said they ran small so I sized up for both boys but they have the adjustable waistband. They needed the length and the size up, but they still need to adjust the waist. So as you can see, he's worn these and we've had to like adjust the waist so they're not too big, but they're almost like a golf short material, extremely lightweight. So perfect for Arizona. And I like that you can dress it up with like a polo or a nice shirt, or you can dress it down with a t-shirt. So I got him these light gray color, and then I got him the dark gray. Same thing, same style short, just a different color. Um, amazing shorts like so so amazing I was at Costco a few weeks ago um, I just ran in to get like two things and they have these Adidas shorts on sale and these were $9.99 a pair so I got Jackson two pairs this is like I don't know if you guys can tell like a camo a black and gray kind of camo print so I got him those and then I got him these gray and black Adidas ones and then they say Adidas right down there so I got him these two pairs um, he loves athletic clothes and athletic shorts, but I feel like it's sometimes hard to match. Like you can get ones that have like orange or bright yellow or bright green, and it's hard to find shirts that match that. And I'm weird, like I want them to match. So I play it safe and I get a lot of black and grays for athletic clothes. Um, this was probably a month or so, maybe even more ago. I was at Sam's Club with my best friend and I got him these shorts in khaki and a pair in gray. Um, they are the iron co brand and these are like same thing like 10 bucks i think but just a khaki style cargo short so i got him those and that is all he has so far he got new vans right before spring break and then obviously his school was over for the year and so he's been wearing those and he is starting to kind of outgrow them so he will be getting new shoes probably here over fall break and then he does need all new jeans he needs all new sweatshirts and probably still more just t-shirts in Arizona we wear t-shirts year-round so and he even wears shorts year-round he's he doesn't wear jeans that often he likes the jogger like athletic type pants better than jeans but I always get him a couple of pairs of each because sometimes you need to wear jeans um so he still has some things I need to get I'm not sure if I'll do that as another fall clothing haul if you guys want to see that let me know down below in the comments or if I'll save that for like a winter type haul now Cohen this is all he got he did not get as much but he gets all of Jackson's hand-me-downs plus my best friend has a son who literally is turning 12 today it's his birthday um, and he hands down a lot of stuff to Cohen too so Cohen at one point had like 95 t-shirts t-shirts you guys not long sleeve and sweatshirt just t-shirts so I still like to buy him new stuff though because I don't want him to feel like everything's a hand-me-down so I still got him I think there's five new shirts here and three new pairs of shorts um, and then he'll need all new jeans too. Jeans I don't, I have a harder time passing down because the boys are so like tough on them and they get stains and holes. So I'm going to show you first, he got a shirt at Old Navy. He is obsessed with, he loves Old Navy shirts. He likes just the, how soft they are and how comfy they are. So just this Old Navy shirt, it has a bear on it with some mountains and all that fun stuff. Um, and I like dark colors for Cohen because love that boy to death but he is messy so he stains a lot of his stuff so I like dark colors for him um the next four t-shirts are the only other shirts I got him and these are all from Gap so I placed an order online with Gap when they had a nice sale going on he likes sharks so I got him this shark shirt it has just different facts about certain sharks and the names of them and he thought this was pretty cool and it's kind of a bright, fun orange color. He wore this actually to school yesterday because this for Spirit Day was Neon Day and this was like the closest thing he had to neon. So it worked for that. He's also obsessed with the solar system. Loves the solar system. He has a solar system puzzle at my parents' house. It's his favorite puzzle ever. So I got him this solar system shirt, which he thinks is super cool because it has little facts on it too. It says Titan has 52 confirmed moons, just like fun stuff like that. Pluto and other... 
Cooper Belt Dwarf Planets. So I don't know, it's just got all this fun stuff on it. So this is probably his new favorite shirt. He got, this one I just thought was cute and he thought it was funny. So he got this one, it says, let's taco about it. A taco on a phone. I love gray and navy blue. Those are like my favorites for the boys. So you'll notice they have a lot of gray and a lot of navy blue. And then he got this cool guitar shirt, which he thought was pretty awesome. He likes guitars and drums and things like that. I also got him the shorts from Target that I was talking about. I'm going to show you. There's one pair that still has a tag on them, but I got him the same style, just in three different colors. So he got light gray, khaki, and dark gray. I didn't get Jackson a khaki pair because I showed you guys he has that khaki pair, and then he also has another khaki pair um, that fit from last year still but I might go ahead and get him another pair of these because they're so lightweight and so comfy and I feel like they look so good, like I said earlier, either dressed up or dressed down. So this is what the tag looks like if any of you are interested. They are the Cat and Jack flat front shorts and they are the quick dry. So that's what the tag looks like. So I got Cohen the gray, like I said, the khaki. He's already worn the khaki, as you can see I have him tightened. He is eight and a half and just now went into a size eight. He was still wearing a pair of old navy shorts that were a size six that I finally gave to my friend because they were starting to get a little too short but they still fit him so good in the waist. So thankfully these, like I said earlier, are adjustable waist so I can adjust these for him and then he's already worn the dark gray. So that's what he got so far. Same as Jackson, he's gonna need more shirts. He's going to need jeans for sure. Um, and then sweatshirts, he's probably good on. I'll probably still buy him one or two anyways but I think he's pretty good on sweatshirts. So Aniston's, she got the most, but in all honesty, not just because she's a girl, she needed the most. She really did. So she, I feel like Jackson, I, my mom and I went crazy when he was little and we would hoard clothes in several sizes bigger that were on sale and on clearance that we would find. Um, and we have friends that have boys that have passed things down to even Jackson. We don't have anyone passing down girl things to us. So Plus, I feel like boys, it's so easy. They just wear shorts and a t-shirt. Shorts and a t-shirt or jeans and a t-shirt. That's it. Girls, there's so many choices. There's dresses, there's jumpers, there's skirts, there's jeans, leggings, shorts. It's too much fun. So first thing I got her was this jumper. It's from Walmart, Wonder Nation brand, and it was only $9.97. But it's this cute, if you can see, like a corduroy material, and it's in this like burgundy wine color. I feel like the color's not showing very well on the camera. It's a lot lighter in person, I feel like, than it looks like on camera. But I got her this cute jumper. She has not worn it yet, but this is a 5T. That was another thing is all, she's very small for her age. So even though she's five and a half, she's just now going into size five. So everything in her closet was a size four. As to where the boys still had some things they could wear from the summer clothes I got them and things from even last winter that I got them that they still fit into. And she has outgrown everything. I need to finish going through her closet and just take out all the rest of the size fours. We have a friend that we hand down the stuff to, but I got her this jumper. Like I said, that was from Walmart. And then I ordered online at Target when I was getting the boys shorts, I ordered just these t-shirts to go underneath the jumper. So just a plain white Cat and Jack t-shirt. I figured that could go under the jumper. And then this black and white stripe I thought was cute and thought it could go under the jumper. So, and you'll see in a minute, she has a denim jumper that she got as well. So what I like to do when it comes to Anison, um, the boys, it doesn't really, you know, t-shirts kind of go with everything, jeans, shorts, whatever. So with girls, I feel like it's easy to buy pieces like this t-shirt. Now this can obviously go with shorts. It can go with jeans. It can go with leggings. It can go with this burgundy jumper and it can also go with the denim jumper I got her. So I like to get pieces that I can use in multiple different outfits and style it multiple different ways. Um, she also has a denim jacket from last year. So, you know, this little black and white striped t-shirt would be super cute with her denim jacket. So I feel like it's nice to get staple pieces like this and this white t-shirt that can be used in multiple different outfits. And I feel like you're getting more for your money that way. Not to mention these t-shirts were $4. And then on top of that, they were like 20% off. So I like to mix and match and I don't necessarily make it stick to, you know, like only Old Navy with Old Navy. I mix and match the brands and I like to mix and match the pieces to get more bang for my buck and create more outfits. Um, she got these shorts. These are Cat and Jack shorts. These are a staple in her closet. She has had these, um, I just ordered these a few weeks ago, but she has had this. They have the same style every year since she was like two, I wanna say. So super cute and as always, I love the adjustable waist for all my kids. So she has those. 
Next is her Gap stuff. This is the same order that I had ordered with Cohen's things. When I ordered the things from Gap, I looked for Jackson and I found absolutely nothing. They were super picked over. So that's why he didn't get anything from Gap. Um, I just got her this cute t-shirt. says Gap. And if you can see, it's like floral. She loves flowers. She loves pink. She loves purple, all that fun stuff. She got this cute little tank top. Um, for school, it has to be a wide strap. She can't wear a spaghetti strap to school, so she can wear this tank top to school, so that's perfect. I also got her this super cute one. I love this, you guys. I When she was little, 90% of her clothes came from Gap. And then I feel like I had a really hard time finding anything the last year, maybe even two years, so when I looked online, I was so happy. I wanna go in person to like, I love going to the Gap outlet, but I found this, it's really cute, it's white and gray. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's like, well maybe it's more of like a denim, I don't know, it's cute. And then the back looks like that. So she can wear this to school because it has the thicker straps. This is one of my favorites that she got. She cannot wear this to school, I haven't tried, but I wanna follow the rules, I don't wanna get her in trouble. This little cactus tank top. So it has like the spaghetti straps with the little bows, but you guys, tell me that is not the cutest print. I had to get her this. I was thinking she could wear this in the winter with jeans and a denim jacket over it. And then if she leaves her jacket on, her shoulders are covered. She also got, this is what she wore for neon day at school. This cute Gap t-shirt. She loves the bright colors and all that fun stuff. And then this is her last item from Gap. One thing I love, same thing, just like um, Target and Old Navy is Gap t-shirts are extremely soft. So she got this one, which I thought was super cute. Okay, we're gonna get into Old Navy. So the next few things from Old Navy are dresses. One thing about Old Navy, if you guys don't know, we have one in our town, so I go quite a bit. Um, if the, the price is cheaper online, at the register, Old Navy will adjust it for you and price match it online. So like in store, this dress was like, 17 or $18 and I ended up getting it for like 14 because that's what the price was online. So I got her this super cute dress. It's got like a floral print. I thought it would be really cute. I got her a cardigan I'll show you in a little while that she could put over this in the winter. And I also thought it would be really cute with her denim jacket that she has. So that is from Old Navy. Most actually, all the rest of Aniston stuff is from Old Navy. So just so you know, and she's got quite a bit left. Got her this cute dress. Um, this was on clearance, just a cute little floral dress that once again would be cute with a denim jacket. Her leopard dress, she got this a while ago. I wanna say like maybe it was even July, but I'm just including it in her little school clothes haul. Okay, this is one of my favorite things. It's plain, it's basic, but I feel like it's a good staple piece. It's just this little denim jumper. So Walmart has one similar right now, but I loved this. I loved the like, raw edges it was just so cute i thought the back was cute how it's kind of bunched right here um i think after a coupon i paid 12 dollars for this and so it's something again that she can mix and match those two t-shirt size t-shirts i showed you guys the white and the black and white stripe will both look super cute under here so i got her that just this plain coral t-shirt dress nice and lightweight for arizona once again can go with her denim jacket okay Probably won't wear this for a while because it's like 102 today. But is this not the cutest little cardigan? It even has pockets, you guys. How stinking cute. And it's like a wine burgundy color. So this could go over so many of her dresses. I was thinking it could even go over that cactus tank top I just showed you from Gap. So stinking cute. It could go with the black and white t-shirt. It could go with the white t-shirt. Like, love that. I got her this super cute tank top. I haven't had her wear this to school yet because it's not exactly spaghetti strap. It's got thicker straps, but it's almost like a rust color and it has the cute crocheted looking top. That would be cute under her denim jacket as well. Another piece she cannot wear to school, but is super adorable and she wears it a lot. You guys have probably seen her in this because she got this around the same time as she got the leopard dress. Is this pink and white stripe little tank top. Um, once again, would be super cute under her denim jacket. Now these next three shirts, I got to go under her denim jumper. Um, and I don't know, I don't know if this will work under the burgundy, I haven't held it up. But this I thought was super cute. It's almost like a waffle or like 
thermal type material, but it's extremely lightweight. And I held it up under the denim jumper and it was so cute. So I got her this to go under the denim jumper. That way when it does get a little cooler, she can wear this to school. Um, her denim jumper would be super cute with some flats or some ankle boots. So this one, I just loved the colors and the flowers, like the teals. You can see there's yellow. I just thought that was super cute. This black and white polka dot is the same kind of material, like the waffle knit or it's really thin. So I don't even want to say thermal because it's like perfect for Arizona. We don't need stuff that's too heavy, but the long sleeves will be a nice change when it does cool off. So this also would be cute under the burgundy jumper from Walmart. And then I got her this floral tee, which she has already worn underneath the denim jumper. If you guys have probably seen the picture on my Instagram. Um, I just thought that was really pretty. They had a couple super cute floral tees at Old Navy, but they were picked over in her size. So this is the only one they had in a five. She got this rainbow tank top. This was on clearance at Old Navy. I want to say it was like $3 and it's the wider strap so she can wear it to school. This one's already a little faded. I'm kind of annoyed. She's only worn it a couple times, but girl power. I thought that was super cute. I'm all about girl power. So we got her that this shirt she wore this the other day and you guys probably saw it on my instagram i have to i just washed it so it came untied but just this cute little this was also a clearance buy it's like an off-white kind of like an ivory i would say it's hard to see on camera but just a cute little tank top with the buttons it has the ruffle the what's that the peplum bottom and i just this was tied it came untied in the wash but super cute little tank top she got a pair of shorts from Old Navy that are really similar to her top or her Cat and Jack ones. Um, but I actually like the, I guess you could say like lace on the bottom of these better than the Cat and Jack. The Cat and Jack are super cute, but this looks more like crocheted lace, I guess you could say. Um, and I liked that they were like distressed looking. It doesn't have the hole all the way through. It has like backing on it so you can't see her leg. Um, these I had originally ordered in a five, but the pair I ordered when I got them in the mail, the crochet like lace stuff was coming away from the denim. There was like a hole. So I took them back in store. They did not have a five anywhere online or in any stores nearby. So these are actually a four. So they fit her great so she can wear them. But I'm sad to say probably next summer she won't be able to wear them. And then I got her these leggings on clearance, $1.99. Just a cute floral print. I figure if anything, they could be play pants. I'm all for my kids wearing like play clothes outside to play or when we go out in the razor or something. So I can find her some cute shirts. I figured like some solid, um, even like a solid, solid, maybe mustard color or something to go with this, a fuchsia. So there's those. And then I love lemons. I don't know why, but I do. So I got her these on clearance, same thing, $1.99. If anything, cheap and cute play pants. Are there any other moms out there? Do you guys make your kids change into play pants to like go outside or play clothes? Because I don't like my kids running their good clothes. And then last but not least, clothes-wise, what I got Aniston, like I said, jeans are probably, I wear jeans right now, but my kids don't, and they probably won't until November, but I could not pass these by. They are the ballerina jeggings with adjustable waist and super stretch. Cutest little jeans ever. They have... I have a pair of lucky jeans like this that I had to get them for. They're kind of like cut out in the front and they have a little bit of distressing. Let's see if I can kind of show you guys better. It has the fabric behind it so like her leg doesn't show through and it won't rip out as easy. But I thought these were adorable and as always I love that they are adjustable waist. So those are the only jeans she has so far for this school year. I just couldn't pass them by. That and the cardigan. I got them at the same time and I was like, I have to. I have to get those. Um, and then last thing to show you is a couple pairs of shoes. If you guys watched my back to school clothes or my back to school supply haul, you saw the shoes I got Aniston at Skechers. Um, so they have to wear closed toed shoes to school. She has a ton of sandals, but that's why I had to get her school shoes. And so I saw these at Old Navy. She's worn them several times, so excuse how dirty they are. And I was like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. They're technically closed toed, would these work? So I sent a picture to her teacher and I was like, would these work for closed toed shoes? Because at their school, if they're not wearing closed toed shoes, they cannot participate in PE and they cannot play on the, my dog scared me. She wants to come in. They cannot play on the playground. So I sent a picture to her teacher and she said, nope, these are perfect. They work for closed toed. So she, these have been a lifesaver because 
I think they're adorable with dresses and shorts and I wanted her to have something cute she could wear with dresses and not necessarily tennis shoes because like I said girls have so many options with boys it's like tennis shoes and like slides or flip-flops and that's it girls there's all these cute sandals and boots and ankle boots so I was so happy she could wear these so I got these for school she I'm actually really impressed with how well they've held up she's worn them so many times since we got them like two weeks ago and they still besides being dirty on the inside they still look brand new they're not scuffed they're not anything and I think these were like with coupon like $12 so love these with her dresses and her jumper I just think it's so much cuter than like tennis shoes and then I went back to Skechers and I got these in the next size up which is size 12 because um, they were on clearance but they're kind of like you know like the native shoes um, and they're super comfy she loves them she has the pair that you guys saw in my school supply haul and once again I like that the back is this like soft material so she doesn't get a blister so these will probably fit her shortly um, but I wanted to grab the next size up while they were on clearance so that is everything they got for their school supply haul um, I'll probably buy little things here and there but next time I do like a big haul again will probably be winter um, if I do anything in between them, like shirts at least for the boys, I'll show you guys if you're interested in seeing that. Just let me know down below in the comments. Um, but yeah, I was happy. I feel like I got some really good deals. Um, I did get a bunch of Old Navy super cash from the stuff I bought at Old Navy. Um, I looked for Chris and he didn't see anything he liked. I looked for myself and I actually ended up ordering myself some workout clothes. Um, and then I looked for the kids again and I really wanted, like I said, more shirts for Jackson and Cohen and they didn't have anything. So I used, I had like $90 in super cash and I used 50 of it. And then I gave the other 40 in super cash to my sister-in-law and she bought stuff for my nieces and nephew. So yeah. And then I think I have $20 in super cash from Gap that just started today. So I might browse on there and see if there's anything I can find. But other than that, I think they're good to go besides some more t-shirts for the boys, um, until winter. So Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if there's anything else you would like to see um, video wise. I've got tons of stuff planned. It's just finding the time right now to do it. So I appreciate your guys' patience with me, but I hope you're all having a fantastic week and I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Bye guys.